This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1485, Simple and Unique Ways to Make Family Dinner Fun, by Jen of ThisTimeOfMind.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our parenting leg of the week here on ORD, with me, your host and narrator, Greg Audino. Yes, the time has come in which we are going to focus on parenting articles specifically, that time being Thursdays and Fridays, and we've got a nice easy read for you today about how to make family dinner time fun. But though it's a light one, I think it's full of great ideas that are really important to apply. So let's pay close attention as we jump into the reading now and optimize your life. Simple and Unique Ways to Make Family Dinner Fun by Jen of ThisTimeOfMind.com Are you looking for ways to mix things up at dinner time? Sure, sometimes we feel we deserve a pat on the back just for making dinner happen. But whether you're feeding a circus with bottomless bellies or battling picky eaters, it can be fun to do things differently every once in a while. You might still have a little bit of chaos, but by adding in a few unique dinners, you will create memories your children can look back on and remember. Here are seven simple ways to make family dinner fun and extra special. Number one, weekly tradition. Once a week on the same day, We have pizza night. Every week. We usually stick with the same thing, but pizza is versatile enough that when we need a change, we can mix up where it's from and what's on it, or even make it from home. For me, it's great for meal planning. I know there's at least one night a week I never have to figure out what's for dinner. My kids also love the predictability of it. Try your own pizza night, taco night, or whatever else your family loves. You could also make it a theme instead of a specific dish Italian night, Mexican night soup and salad, whatever you want to make it something your family will actually eat and enjoy. This could also work with breakfast foods, if that's the only time to eat together. Number two, make it fancy. Sometimes dinner ends up being a survival of the hungriest competition, or a period of bribing and threatening to get your children to try just one bite. Or, if you're like us, a time when everyone is in the same room, all talking about their day simultaneously, or asking for more water until your input levels are at max capacity. Basically, meals with younger children can sometimes be a little chaotic. So, every once in a while, do something totally out of the ordinary. Put a fancy tablecloth on the table, or buy a cheap, shiny, pretend fancy one from a party store you can reuse. Light some candles, maybe even put on some background music. We've even served chicken nuggets like this, and my kids thought it was so fun and fancy. We don't do it too often but it sure makes it fun when we do. And it's different enough that things tend to be a little calmer. This would also be a good time to reinforce table manners. Yes, you should always be going over table manners. But many children still have an inner baboon when it comes to eating. So, have fun practicing manners in a semi-formal setting. Number three, breakfast for dinner. How about breakfast for dinner? It's an easy and tasty way to mix things up. Try something simple, like omelets, or experiment with a yummy breakfast you like, but never have time to make during the regular morning rush. Number four, junior chefs. It's always a great idea to have children involved when making dinner, but as they get older, let them take the reins once in a while. When you're planning meals for the week, help them choose something simple that they can do on their own, or with just a little help. Then you can make sure you have all the ingredients when the time comes. If dinner's too much, Try letting them be in charge of making the treat. My daughter loves being 100% in charge of making brownies. Number five, new recipes. Do you have a group of dinners your family rotates through? Ones you know that everyone will eat? These lists are wonderful and convenient. But every once in a while, try branching out. Pick a night when you know you'll have a little more time and try a new recipe. You can keep it simple or try something you normally wouldn't have time to make. Not only is this good to keep your taste buds from getting bored, but you might discover new family favorites to add to that rotating list. Trying new food is also good for picky eaters. Keep exposing them to new and different things. We have a rule in our family that they have to try at least one polite bite. It's okay if they don't like it, but they have to at least try it. Number six, backwards dinner. Want to know a really easy way to make family dinner fun? Go crazy and start with dessert. This is a tradition that will make even your older kids smile. Number seven, picnics. 
Whether you plan an outing on a nice day or lay a blanket on the kitchen floor, turning a meal into a picnic is a great way to change things up. Your kids will think it's so clever having an indoor picnic, and if you go outside, even in the backyard, you'll benefit from fresh air and a little less kitchen cleanup. Conclusion Making a point to eat together is a habit that will benefit the whole family. So doing it as often as you can will be worth the effort. But don't forget to sprinkle in the occasional special dinner, just for fun. You just listened to the post titled, Simple and Unique Ways to Make Family Dinner Fun, by Jen of thistimeofmind.com. And thanks to Jen. I really loved this lighthearted post from her. But again, not a post to sleep on. She's offered up some great ideas to keep dinner fun, as promised in the title. (laughs) And it's important to do this because, well, we all remember the old TV ads about how dinner time is so important. It truly is one of the few opportunities all family members have to be on the same exact page on a regular basis and also free of potential distraction, which feels more important now than ever before. A lot of memories are formed around the dinner table, and it lends itself to a lot of purpose and intentional time together. It's absolutely worth your time to make this opportunity as enticing as possible to the youngsters, so I highly recommend and stand by these great practical ideas issued by Jen here today. So, get to it, parents. Time to get going for now. But thanks a lot for joining today, and be sure to come on back again tomorrow if you like today's post, because we will have more for the parents out there. So I'll talk to you then, where your optimal life awaits.